Hello everyone, Don Conroy here. Welcome to a draw with Don. And today I'm actually going to draw a clown. We all could do it a little bit of cheering up, couldn't we? So I know there's loads of talented people out there. So all you need is paper and pencils. Shall we have a go? First thing to do is get out a blank piece of paper. And what we'll do is, first of all, just give you a rough idea. We're gonna rough out roughly the shape of the clown. So it, it's gonna rough, look roughly like that. And we'll divide this shape right down the middle like that. And then across here, we'll indicate where the eyes will be and the nose will be. And of course, big happy smile will be there. And then of course, we'll indicate the ears like that and we'll work out roughly where the hat's going to be which is something like that and this is where the hair is so if you roughly work out that shape and you're happy with it then we can start to draw and listen don't worry about making mistakes we've all made mistakes one of the great artists called Michelangelo, he made plenty of mistakes. <laughs> but he used to leave the mistakes even in the drawings. And the ancient Chinese used to, say, used to say, you cannot call yourself an artist until you make 1,000 mistakes. I think I'm on 752. <laughs> okay. Now, clowns, of course, we all love clowns, don't we? Except people like Stephen King, the writer, we won't talk about him. So well, let's have a go. So we start off by drawing. I'm going to go right straight and draw the nose first. The big red nose. So, shape like that. Go right around like that. Imagine you're drawing a ball. And then these are the nostrils. It's there like that. And then we'll show the mouth like that. Now just in case you can't see that too well, I'm going to use a heavy marker. But you got the idea earlier how to work out the shape. So I'll go over this again with a heavy marker. And there's the nostrils. And there's the big mouth, the clown's mouth. And believe it or not, all the clowns that you see in the different circuses, all these really special guys, the kind of the main clown, they always have their own special makeup. So they may look similar, but in actual in fact, they all have their own particular way of making their face look funny. Now, two little curved lines there, and then we join up the mouth like that. Now that's, and if you wanted to, like in the original picture here, which I did earlier, I, get, I gave him a little, little bit of sort of book teeth here. Just like that. So I'll just put these in as well. Now the eyes are quite simple. All you have to do is draw a curved line like that and a curved line like that. And then a line down like that. Happy? Good. <laughs> now on top here we want to draw the, the hat. So the hat is roughly that shape like that. And then it looks like he, it's a top hat, but he's actually probably sat on this several times, so it's a bit wonky. Put 
and the hair, there's the ears, I'll put in the ears, they're like, they're like circles, but they just stop a bit there. And then the hair goes off like that, into a mad shape like that. Now, of course, you can make the clown any way you want to. I'm just giving you a rough idea. And just remember, there's no one right way to draw. Everybody has their own way of drawing. So, have fun. If you make a mistake, I promise I won't phone the president and say, Hello! You know, so somebody watch me here and I made a mistake. So don't worry about making mistakes, okay? Now, here is a funny little collar. Like this. And a big, big bow here. And off we go, like that. And here's, he's wearing a funny kind of coat as well. It's nice and colorful. And by the way, just in case you think all clowns are male. No, no, no. There's some fantastic female clowns as well. Just as hilarious, if not funnier. So that tradition, uh, which started out mainly with males, because females were not allowed on stage back in the day, but now, lucky enough, all those things have changed. And uh, anybody can be a clown, even you. <laughs> you know, I can be a clown sometimes as well. Uh, so I'm going to draw a little hand here. And so the thumb is like that. A line like that. A little line like that. Another line like that. And there we go. And this, again, I uh, have sort of wearing little little gloves as well. Now, sometimes in, in cartoons, you draw three, f three fingers in the thumb, and sometimes you can do the fourth. So the, I put in fourth here just because I've done it earlier, but I'd be consistent. Now, on the other side here is the other hand. This. So you could make somebody a birthday card, a get well card, a good look with the exams card, or whatever it is they're, they're celebrating. So that's the fun of drawing, and you don't need anything fancy. And uh, that's more or less my clown. And I must tell you very quickly, when I was very small, I went to the cinema and I saw a great movie, and it was called The Big Circus. Now, it wasn't exactly a bar I laughed, the film, but it was a great movie, a great family entertainment movie. And it had uh, Victor Mature in it and Rhonda Fleming and Vincent Price. They were all big stars back in the day. Uh, but it was a great old uh, movie. I think it's even on YouTube now. But years later, I, I had my own children and I got them to sit down and watch it. And I put in a video just to see what, what they thought of it would it stand up to the joy that I got when I was a child? And lo and behold, they all really enjoyed it. So it stood the test of time, a good old movie. But anyway, we must celebrate the people that bring us joy and laughter in this world. And uh, why not start with the clowns? <laughs> so listen, it's been great talking to you and doing a little bit of drawing. And uh, I'm going to finish up now, but I'll be back to do another couple of sessions. So you take care, stay happy, stay safe, and stay creative. <laughs>